वेलकम टू माई चैनल आई टी स्मार्ट ट्रेनिंग टूडे सेशन इज ऑन एमेजॉन मेशीन इमेज ए एम आई इफ माई वीडियो इज इन्फॉर्मेटिव प्लीज लाइक द वीडियो एंड सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल टू गेट मोर अप टू डेट लेट स्टार्ट टूडे सेशन एमेजॉन मेशीन इमेज ए एम आई So let's start AMI. The full form of AMI is Amazon Machine Image. So at first we have to know that what are the Amazon Machine Images. An Amazon Machine Image is a package environment containing a software configurations and other parts required to set up an instances. The machine images are like a templates that are configured using an operating systems and application server and any additional application requires to deliver a service or a part of it. The types of machine images are categorized based on operating system, launch permissions, region, system architecture 32 bit or 64 bit and storage for the root device such as EC2 store or Amazon Elastic Block Store, Amazon EBS. A user must specify a source AMI when setting up an instances. The user can set up multiple instances from one machine images when the instances are needed with a similar configuration. A user can also use a different machine images to set up instances when the instances with the different configurations are needed. Next. What do Amazon machine images include? First, each Amazon machine image includes the following. First is a template for the instance's root device volume. Next, set up permissions that control which Amazon web services accounts can use the machine images to set up an instances. Next, the block devices that specify the root devices volume to attach to the EC2 instances once it launch. Next, a read-only file system image. The main component of the machine image is normally compressed, encrypted and uploaded into the Amazon S3 for storage. The file used to store information about the machine image is known as a manifest file. Information stored in the file includes name, architecture, decryption key, any and default kernel ID. Note that an AMI does not include an image but rather a pointer to the default kernel ID. You have to mind it all about this. Next, types of machine images. There are three types of machine images are there public images paid images and private images first there are these are machines what is the public images these are the machines images that are safe secure and customized for public consumptions paid images what are the paid images these are images that can be purchased from the developer ec2 users can purchase the images for the aws marketplace and online store that sells the software running on Amazon Web Services. Next, private images. What is the private images? Private images machines image can only be used to EC2 users who have been granted access to it by the developer. Next, I am going to the next slide. Creating an Amazon machine images. How to create the Amazon machine images? First, a user can set up an instances using an existing machine images, customize it, then save and update it configuration as a custom machine images. To set up a Linux machine images backend by the instances store, the user must create a machine image 
from their instances using the Amazon EC2 AMI tools. How to use Amazon Machine Images? After creating and registering a Amazon Machine Images, the developer can use it to set up a new instance. The developer can the, then copy a machine image within the same region or other region. Additionally, the user can deregister the machine images if he or she no longer needs it. Have in mind that a deregistered machine images can't be used to set up a new instance. A user can search for a machine images that meets the criteria of a certain instance to machine images provided by the AWS community. When a user is connected to an instances, they can use it like any other server. Okay, go to the next slide. So next, we are going to start our lab. So before starting lab, we have to know something about the AMI that is I show you in the paint. So suppose this is my Amazon instances means this is my virtual machine. You can say inside the virtual machine, we have select the Windows Server 2019 as an operating system and inside the operating system there we install um, uh, VLC player like that VLC player Skype WinRAR Google Chrome this kind of applications we install inside the server so my criteria is suppose we have to deploy uh, five uh, instances at a time and we need this kind of applications inside the VMs so we have to do install individually this application in the five machines so to minimize that kind of task we can use AMI for that task so AMI just basically a clone of that virtual machine a clone of that virtual machine so we just create AMI that means I clone a virtual machine inside the Amazon Web Service so next time we can create one machine two machine three machine four machine five machine whatever our requirement we can create it easily so our time and our effort is minimized so here you can see this is my the Amazon portal I just connect my virtual machine over here I just connect I just connect uh, I just need my password I have to uh, PIM file I have to add over here which we have downloaded previously how to download and connect Windows machines you can see my previous video also I just select the PIM file and decrypt the password you can see my password is decrypted I just copy it copy the password and paste it into my notepad because it will use in future also now I just connect the VM over here and provide the password over here and click OK done so it will take some time to connect our VM or the instances after that after connecting the instances we install some of the applications inside the VM and we some create some files also into the into the uh, that machine also it's almost connecting so I just go to the run at first I have to open the server manager to open the server manager we have to type a command uh, that is a shortcut uh, that command is con uh, comp mgmt launcher the comp mgmt launcher is the key which is used to open the server manager my server manager is open so here we just disable the ie exceptions uh, go to the local server click on ie security 
because if we uh, download some application into the using the uh, using internet explorer in the server there we may get some permissions to add those side into the server then only we can open so now i just disabled it and i just go to run and open ie explore to open the internet explorer now i just go to the google and at first we have to download a vlc player over here you just type a vlc vlc download just download the vlc player download the vlc player just run it to install inside the machine next i just install the skype applications also I'm just installing the Skype also. I just download my VLC player uh, setup is started. I just accept and install the VLC player. I just download the Skype and install into it. Download failed. I have to retry once again. is downloading VLC player is also installing I just create some folder over here uh, there and also inside the folder we just create some file and folders into it My VLC player is installed. Now I just install the Skype. You can see that my Skype is also installed. The icon is also populated into my desktop and the file is also created over here. So these machines I just done all the task. I just minimize this machine and go to my AWS portal I just click on the AWS icons to go to the home page and click EC2 once again in the EC2 click on image instances in the instances uh, we have to select just loading we have to select the running instances where we install the applications just click on it and go to the action and inside the action there is an option images and templates I have to go images and templates and then click on create image I have to go actions I have to click on images and templates and then click on create image so I just show you once again go to the action just scroll down instance and templates create click on create image inside the create image I just provide the image name which is a win hyphen clone I just creating the clone of that instances so I just type that name and I just type the same description over here And you can also add a tag also here we can add a, another virtual machine or add another storage also here I just type the tag name value is uh, uh, win clone done now I just create image so after clicking the create image it will take some time you can cannot see this is into the instances uh, portal uh, to see that you have to click on AMI 
in left side click on AMI inside the AMI you can see that the virtual machine is uh, pending state it will take some times to uh, create till then we just pause the video now get back you can see the AMI is created now I just go to the instances now I I create I launch an instances using that AMI I just click instances then click on my instances inside the my instances there you can see my clone Windows clone instance and other steps are the same select the uh, instance type type the name of that VM you can add also storage and you just can you can select the security group over here and create instance and like create machines and launch now here you can uh, uh, create the existing key pair over here uh, you just remind that uh, the password was the same in the last machine which we uh, create the uh, AMI using which that virtual machines password is the this machine password are the same you can see that machines are in pending state it's creating using that my customized AMI AMI I just deselect I select my new machine I just named that machine to the win clone to get more understandable to identify to separate uh, both machines easily win clone and now I just uh, launch or I just connect that machine the password are the same I just download the RDP file and opened it type the password which we previously saved over there you just copy that password and paste into the RDP console just ok yes it will take some time to connect connection is established logged in profile created boom you can see the VLC player skypes and files all are installed in the VM you can see all that contents are inside that VM so this is how we can create or manage AMI now I just go to the AWS homepage and click on EC2 now I just click instance running option here you can see all my running instances I just select one of the instances over here and go to action just uh, drag drop down images and templates here you can option create templates from instance here we can create a templates from an instance I just select on that this is another option create template from an instances I just uh, type the template name AMI hyphen something you can also add the descriptions I just left it here the AMI's option you can select the AMI's or I'm just set the default and I set all the configurations by default you can also select the Windows machine or the other Linux or others machine I just set all the defaults settings and go to the down and create launch options tem templates options sir create just view on templates 
in the instances tab you cannot see that if I go to the AMI the AMI was created if we see the templates we have to select the template options to see the template see here is nothing is populated in instances just go to the launch template here you can see the template is created so this is how we can create a template from and images I just uh, delete this template from here there is uh, so many options over here templates is just in configurations nothing but this uh, I just delete this template over here we can create the instance of using this template also Now I just delete template, just type delete, just delete. So I just go to the instances also, just select the instances and terminate the instances. Now I just removing part I just show you. At first we have to stop the instances. After stopping the instances, we have to terminate the instances from my console. Stopping. It's take few minutes to take time to stop. One virtual machine is stop, another one is stopping. Uh, both are toss stopped I have to go to terminate just terminate the those VMs now I just go to the AMIs and I have to also delete the AMI just click on the AMI go to the action and deregistered it yes it is deregistered all the all things are deleted so if my video is informative please like the video and subscribe my channel don't forget to press the bell icon to get more up to date see you on next session thank you thank you for watching